Hey, welcome back to Selenium in Java training, guys. So in the last session, we have already seen that, okay, how to create functions and what are the different types of function, how to call functions and how to create the object and uh, how can we call those particular methods and functions by using this particular object. So today we will see what is method overloading or function overloading. Okay, so let me create a class. Let's create a class and uh, let's see class name is we will give method overloading it's a very famous interview question they will ask at the time of interview what is method overloading okay so let me create a class method overloading okay and uh, select the main method and click on finish so what exactly i'll do so this is my main method i'll create number of methods let's see i'll create one method public void some method okay and i'll just write system dot out dot print ln uh, some method it's printing okay some method with zero input parameter because we are not passing any parameter so zero parameter okay i'll create one more method public void some method system dot out dot print ln okay i'll write let's see some method see this is not allowed duplicate methods are not allowed always remember methods are independent to each other we cannot create a method inside a method okay two things are there we cannot create a method inside a method or we cannot create okay and we cannot create duplicate methods duplicate method means same method name same method name zero parameter zero parameter so these things are not allowed so if you want to differentiate between these two methods what exactly you have to do here let's see we have this is your zero parameter zero input parameter right this is zero input parameter here i'll give some parameter let's see int i okay now the error is gone okay so this is called method overloading okay let's see i want to create one more method same method with the same method name public void some method okay and system dot out dot print and i'll write some method so again this method and this method is same okay so if you want to differentiate let's see i'll create int k okay now this method and this method is same this is one input parameter okay one input parameter and this is also one input parameter so with the same name one input parameter same name one input parameter now i want to differentiate i'll give one more parameter so int let's see n now the error is gone so some method is overloaded method okay because we have given same method name sum sum and sum with zero input parameter one input parameter and two input parameter okay two input parameters okay so this concept is called method overloading okay this concept is called method overloading okay so now what i'll do simply I'll call these methods. So how to call these methods? Because these are non-static methods. So I just need to create the object of these methods. So let's create class name obj is equal to new class name. Okay. Simple, just create the object. So this is the object as I mentioned in the last class. And who is referring this particular object? OBJ is referring this particular object. So simple, I'll call obj dot. I want to call, let's see, some method, zero input parameter. Now you can see the suggestion some method zero input parameter one input parameter and two input parameters okay so let's see i'll call this particular default method this is your zero input parameter i'll run it let's run as java application so see some method is getting called some method with zero input parameter let me print like this some method one input parameter so that you can differentiate in the output some method with two input parameters okay so some method zero input parameter is getting called. Now I want to call some method with one input parameter, simple obj dot sum and pass some value. Let's see, I'll pass 10. So 10 will be given to i. Okay, so can I print i here? System dot out dot print ln. Let's print i. Okay, so what is the value of i? i is 10 because obj dot sum with one input parameter, it will directly call this particular method because one to one mapping. 10 will be given to i. It will print it will come inside this method it will print some method one input parameter and then it will print i the value of i is 10 
okay so let's run it it's printing some method one input parameter and the parameter value we are passing 10 and we are printing on the console okay now let's print let's call obj dot sum method with two parameters so obj dot sum i'll pass two parameters let's say i'll pass 10 comma 5 okay so 10 comma 5 so 10 will be given to k and 5 will be given to l okay it means some method with two input parameters will be called or let's see i'll do one thing system dot out dot print and then i'll write uh, k plus l so what is k plus l 10 plus 5 15 okay so let's run it see two input parameter and it's printing the addition it's printing the sum k plus l is 15 so this concept is called method overloading so what is method overloading i'll write method overloading is when when the method name is same when the method name is same with different arguments or input parameters okay okay within the same class is called method overloading always remember within the same class inside the same class we have three methods some methods some, we have only with the same name three method with the same name some some and some okay but zero input parameter one input parameter and two input parameter this is called method overloading there is one more concept is there method overriding so we will discuss at the time of inheritance okay but right now it's a very famous interview question that what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding okay so some more important notes i'll write here you cannot create a method inside a method this is not allowed it means let's see i'll create inside the sum method i'll create one more method public void test method okay public void test method so i cannot create like this see this is giving you error inside the sum method i cannot create a method same like factories inside the Reebok factory how can you create the nike factory right same concept here this is not allowed okay and duplicate methods means duplicate methods means you can write like this same method name with same number of arguments same number of input parameters or arguments are not allowed okay i'll create some method with the same exact same method i'll create this is not allowed i have to differentiate okay by passing the different parameters okay so always remember see it's giving you error the error is duplicate method sum in in this particular class okay so this is not allowed duplicate methods with the same method name and same number of arguments methods not allowed within the same class this is okay this is not allowed but when the method name is same sum sum and sum with different input parameters or arguments is called method overloading and it's allowed okay so this is called method overloading okay one more thing is here can we overload main method let's try i'll create one main method public uh, static void i'll create main method okay and i'll pass let's see int p okay so yes same method name same method name having one input parameter one input parameter but the type of this parameter is different okay so this is allowed can i create one more main method let's create one more main method public static void main see now it's giving you error why because main integer p main integer p let's see i'll write integer q okay this is not allowed because main method main method same method name but one input parameter one input parameter and both the parameters are same data type okay so i have to differentiate with one more parameter let's say int key like this now error is gone instead of q let's see uh int h okay now the error is gone so they will ask you at the time of interview can we overload main method yes main method can be overloaded 
okay although we generally we never use method overloading for main method but yes for a knowledge point of view for concept point of view yes we can overload main method also always remember we can overload main method also so these are the concept i'm writing for you guys okay so yes main method can be overloaded okay okay so i can write like this i'll create one sum method sorry i'll create one more sum method okay let's see but i'm creating like this sum method so this is not allowed but I, i'll give let's see double d okay now this is allowed you can say this is same method name one input parameter same method name one input parameter yes this is allowed why because this is double i'm using here and this is integer i'm using here. okay so small correction when the method name is same with different arguments or input parameters within the same class okay so you can write with different arguments and make sure they are having different data types okay and here you can say that same method name with same number of arguments are not allowed and if their data types are also same this is not allowed okay but same method name with same number of arguments with different data types is allowed okay so don't be confused whenever if, if anyone asking you what is the method overloading you should always say when the same method name same uh, method name with different input arguments or input parameters with different data types is called method overloading okay simple thank you